Hey everyone, Unicorn1513 here and I'm going to show you guys some vintage dolls today and some vintage toys. And these are mostly from the 90s, so if you like vintage toys then keep on watching. And they are, these dolls are pretty old, so they are used and uh, they are in okay condition, they're not in the best condition. They were played with a lot. So that's why they are in the best condition. And I just pulled them out of the attic to make this video. And I'm going to uh, clean them up and, and fix their hair. So, yeah, I just wanted to say that before I start the video. And this is a Baby All Gone doll. And she is made by Kenner. And she was made in 1991. And she comes with a... She comes with milk, food which was cherries and a spoon and if you stuck the spoon into the cherries you would get the food and you could feed her with it you can actually you would stick it in her mouth and then the cherries would be on it and then the cherries would disappear and the milk would actually disappear too and she was a pretty awesome doll I really liked her when I was younger she was one of my, one of my favorite dolls and she comes with this really cute outfit that has cherries on it and flowers. She does not take any batteries because all the stuff that she does is with the spoon and the milk and she does the, it does it itself and you don't need batteries. And she is made by uh, Kenner in 1991. So that is Baby All Gone. And then I have this big doll. And she is one of my, I've had her for a very, very long time. And um, she, I don't have batteries for her right now, so I can't show you what she does. But if you want me to, I can show you guys in a separate video. She takes like 4D batteries, so I don't have D batteries right now to show you. But this is her, and uh, she needs a hair brushing and her outfit wash. But other than that, she's in good condition. And she... When you press her head like this, uh, she would talk and she would teach you how to uh, talk. And she would like say spaghetti and then or ABCs and she would teach you how to talk. And uh, she was one of my favorite dolls. And uh, let me see if it says her outfit has flowers on it and then right here it's kind of faded but it has a pink flower. And let me see if it says when she what uh who she's made by. She is made by Toy Biz in 1992, and that is that. So she was made by Toy Biz in 1992, and she's pretty awesome. I love her. She's so cute, and her eyes still blink. And she still works, and her mouth moves, and her eyes are fine. And she still has all her eyelashes. It's just her hair needs to brush in her outfit, and she needs batteries. But she talks, so that's what she does. And uh, that is her, and then I'm going to show you some other dolls real quick. So this one is a Ring Around and Rosie doll, and she is made by... She was made in 1994, and she was made by Deversfield Specialists. I'm not sure what company, but so that's that. And I couldn't really find much information on her, but she's the only thing she is missing is her bottom half of her dress, and it was just a skirt that went around. But other than that, and her hair needs to be brushed a little, but she still works. So this is what she sounds like, and she takes four, uh, three. Uh, double A batteries like this. So she takes three of those, and this is what she does. Ring around the rosy, pocket full of posy, ashes, ashes, all fall down. So that is her, and that's what she does. She's one of my favorites too. And then I have these. This is a baby Nancy doll, and she was made in 1993 by Tyco. And this is her. Uh, 
this one, it, she has Velcro hands. Oh, Velcro on her hands. And she does have, I did not know that she has a battery compartment, but she actually does. And she takes uh, four AA batteries. And uh, when I found when I found her, she, her bat the batteries were so corroded, like they're horrible. Uh, so she doesn't work now. If anybody can like help me, uh, does any if anybody knows how to like fix like the inside? Uh, there's only one part that's like really bad, but the other two are still fine. But she won't work anymore, and she's supposed to burp, but she doesn't. So that is be uh. My newborn baby Nancy. So that is her. And then I have one that actually works. And this one. And she goes with the binky. And her hands are not velcroed. I think the velcro came off. Or she, maybe it's not supposed to have velcro. I'm not sure. But this is the same thing. This is a uh, my newborn Nancy made by Tyco in 1993. So that is her, and she has a pacifier. I'll take the pacifier out, and that's what the pacifier looks like. And when you squeeze her, she burps. So that's what she does. And that is my newborn baby, Nancy. And then I have this doll. And she is very special. I'm sorry that her outfit's a little dirty, but... I've had her for a really, really long time, and I guess where I was keeping, I kept the outfit separate from her, and I guess the outfit got spilled on or something in the attic. Well, I don't really remember, but yeah, good thing I kept the doll separate from her, but uh, the only problem with her is I can't show you what she does is because she takes rechargeable batteries, and I'm not really sure how to do that, so I'll have to find some other batteries for her. And what she does, if you tilt her head back, her, her this heart would light up and her headband would light up. So that is what she does. And she is made by, uh, she was made in 1989 by Mattel. And that is her, and this is her original outfit. It's dirty, sorry guys, but yeah, <laughs> I'll have to fix that. Um, she comes with... Her headband lights up, this heart lights up, and she has earrings on both sides. And she's really cute in little slippers. Oh, they're coming off. Little slippers. Sorry, guys. They're not, but you can see them. <laughs> so that is her. And uh, I forgot what she's called. I think, like, I'm not really sure what she's called, but I know she is an older doll. And sorry that I don't know what she's called. And then I have a Cabbage Patch doll. And this is a, it says on her uh, bib, it says Cabbage Patch uh, Baby Land. So that is what her th says, or her bib says. And on her tush. She has the an autograph on it. I think that's the owner of the person that made these. And then she has the autograph right here. And then it says right here it says Cabbage Patch Baby Land. So that is her. And she like uh jingles a little bit. There's some like a rattle inside of her. And it doesn't this does not take batteries. And then this one, sorry, her hair's a little messy. This one was one of my favorites growing up. And uh, she needs she needs really big batteries as well. She needs like double uh, the big the big batteries, and I don't have those to show you. So this is a my fortune teller doll. I think that's what she's called. And she uh, when you can ask her a question and then these would light up and it says yes, no, and question mark. And you can ask her questions and you would have a wand and then touch the star on her uh, chest. 
and then that would make the uh, you could like ask her a question and then it would show up here and she comes with this really pretty dress and these shoes that are stuck on her but they're really cute they have a starfish on them and she was one of my favorites I remember getting her and uh, underneath she has the stars and stuff underneath her dress and she is made by let me see I'm not sure uh, she was made in 1995 by Kenner so that is her and I just don't have batteries for her right now so and I could show the dolls in another video if you want me to I'm sorry this video is kind of a fail but I wanted to show you guys so this is her and then the this doll is a Mertis, uh, it's M I I, and I'm not sure how to say this one at all, so I will just show you. Mertis Ink, something like that. But she is, she was made in 1995, so that is her. And she burps like the other one. It does not take any batteries, but that is her. And I'm not sure what uh, her name is or anything or what kind of doll she is, but she that's what she does. And then this, I, I will go a little faster. So this one is a, it does not, I actually cannot read. I, I think it's a Fisher Price doll. I can't read it because it's all gone and faded. But it's a little uh, cloth doll. And that is that. And then there is this one. And this one is called a Baby, Baby Wiggles and Giggles. And she was made in 1995 by Tyco. And she's supposed to kick her feet like this when you tickle her like there you would press her stomach and then she would move her feet and that is her the problem with her is that she only takes two batteries two double a batteries but for some reason when i press the on switch it does not work so i'm not sure why she doesn't work either but if anyone could help me out with how to fix these that would be awesome so that is that and i think that will be all for this video just because I don't want it to be too long. So I will probably have to show all the other stuff in another the next video. So if you want, you can watch that video if you want to. And that will have all the, my uh, other dolls. So if you want to see that. So these were just my the baby dolls. And the next ones will have uh, more like action figures or other dolls. So thanks for watching. Bye.